The Western Union Company is an American financial services and communications company. Its headquarters is in Meridian, Colorado, although the postal designation of nearby Englewood is used in its mailing address. Up until it discontinued the service in 2006, Western Union was the best known U.S. company in the business of exchanging telegrams. Western Union has several divisions, with products such as person to person money transfer, money orders, business payments, and commercial services. They offered standard cablegrams, as well as more cheerful products such as candygrams, dollygrams, and melodygrams. Western Union, as an industrialized monopoly, dominated the telegraph industry in the late 19th century. It was the first communications empire and set a pattern for American-style communications businesses as they are known today. History 19th century In 1851, the New York and Mississippi Valley Printing Telegraph Company was organized in Rochester, New York by Samuel L. Selden, Hiram Sibley, and others, with the goal of creating one great telegraph system with unified and efficient operations. Meanwhile, Ezra Cornell had bought back one of his bankrupt companies and renamed it the New York and Western Union Telegraph Company. Originally fierce competitors, by 1856 both groups were finally convinced that consolidation was their only alternative for progress. The merged company was named the Western Union Telegraph Company at Cornell's insistence, and Western Union was born. Western Union bought out smaller companies rapidly, and by 1860 its lines reached from the East Coast to the Mississippi River, and from the Great Lakes to the Ohio River. In 1861 it opened the first transcontinental telegraph. In 1865 it formed the Russian-American telegraph in an attempt to link America to Europe, via Alaska, into Siberia, to Moscow this project was abandoned in 1867. The company enjoyed phenomenal growth during the next few years. Under the leadership of Presidents Jephthah Wade and William Orton its capitalization rose from $385,700 in 1858 to $41 million in 1876. However it was top-heavy with stock issues, and faced growing competition from several firms, especially the Atlantic and Pacific Telegraph Company, itself taken over by financier Jay Gould in 1875. In 1881 Gould took control of Western Union. It introduced the first stock ticker in 1866, and a standardized time service in 1870. The next year, 1871, the company introduced its money transfer service, based on its extensive telegraph network. In 1879, Western Union left the telephone business, settling a patent lawsuit with Bell Telephone Company. As the telephone replaced the telegraph, money transfer would become its primary business. When the Dow Jones Transportation Average Stock Market Index for the New York Stock Exchange NYSE was created in 1884, Western Union was one of the original 11 all-American companies tracked. By 1900, Western Union operated a million miles of telegraph lines and two international undersea cables. 20th century In 1913 AT&T, under indictment of the Sherman Act, sold its shares in Western Union due to the threat of antitrust action. The company continued to grow, acquiring more than 500 smaller competitors. Its monopoly power was almost complete in 1943 when it bought Postal Telegraph, Inc., its chief rival. In 1914, Western Union offered the first charge card for consumers. In 1923, it introduced teletypewriters to join its branches. Singing telegrams followed in 1933, intercity fax in 1935, and commercial intercity microwave communications in 1943. In 1958, it began offering telex service to customers in New York City. 
In honor of Valentine's Day 1959, Western Union introduced the Candygram, a box of chocolates accompanying a telegram featured in a commercial with the rotund Don Wilson. On the 1970s version of Let's Make a Deal, hosted by Monty Hall, Western Union candygrams with a cash message inside were offered to contestants as a prize during a deal. In 1964, Western Union initiated a transcontinental microwave system to replace land lines. During World War II, families with sons in military service dreaded the Western Union boy on his bicycle to arrive at their home with a telegram from the War Department or the Navy Department. The message began, the Secretary of War for Soldiers and Airmen or Secretary of Navy for Sailors and Marines regrets to inform you that name, rank, and serial number of the man in the military service was killed in action or missing in action. Western Union became the first American telecommunications corporation to maintain its own fleet of geosynchronous communication satellites, starting in 1974. The fleet of satellites, called Wester, carried communications within the Western Union Company for telegram and mailgram message data to Western Union bureaus nationwide. It also handled traffic for its Telex and TWX Telex2 services. The Wester satellites transponders were also leased by other companies for relaying video, voice, data, and facsimile fax transmissions. In 1963, Western Union organized its international cable system properties and its right of way for connecting international telegraph lines into a separate company called Western Union International WUI, which it divested that year to American Securities. In 1983, American Securities sold WUI to MCI Communications which renamed it to MCI International and moved its headquarters from New York City to Rye Brook, New York. In the 1970s, WUI installed and leased to the U.S. Department of Defense DOD dedicated 50 kilobits per second high-speed telecommunications facilities between the continental U.S. and Hawaii, Germany and the United Kingdom to provide a test bed for the DOD's Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA. This test bed provided ARPA with a proof of concept for the technology of packet switching which later became the Internet. In 1976, Western Union partnered with E. F. Hutton & Co. In 1981, Western Union purchased a 50% interest in Airphone. It sold Airphone to GTE in 1986 for $39 million in cash. Because of declining profits and mounting debts, Western Union slowly began to divest itself of telecommunications based assets starting in the early 1980s. Because of deregulation at the time, Western Union began sending money outside the country, reinventing itself as the fastest way to send money worldwide, and expanding its agent locations internationally. In 1987, investor Bennett S. LeBeau acquired control of Western Union through an outside of Chapter 11 process that was a complex leveraged recapitalization. The transaction was backed by a total of $900 million in high-yield bonds and preferred stock underwritten by Michael Milken's group at Drexel Burnham Lambert as part of an exchange offer. LeBeau installed Robert J. Amon as president and CEO who led a complete strategic, operational and balance sheet restructuring of the company over the subsequent six years. Mr. Amon executed a strategy of redirecting Western Union from being an asset-based provider of communication services, with a money transfer business as a large but less important part of the business, into being a provider of consumer-based money transfer financial services. In so doing, Mr. Amon ran the company as two separate companies. One business consisted of the money transfer business, which was funded and operated to take advantage of the significant growth opportunity. The second unit consisted of all the non-strategic communications assets such as the long-distance analog voice network, satellite business and undersea cable assets. 
In the three-year period through 1990 Mr. Amman was supported by Robert A. Schriesheim, also installed by Mr. Lebeau, as a special advisor who oversaw the divestiture of the four non-strategic telecommunications assets for about $280 million. The official name of the corporation was changed to New Valley Corporation in 1991, just in time for that entity to seek bankruptcy protection as part of Mr. Amman's strategy to eliminate the overleveraged balance sheet while continuing to grow the money transfer business. The name change was taken to shield the Western Union name from being dragged through the proceedings and the bad PR that would cause. Under the day-to-day -day leadership of Robert J. Amon and the backing of Lebeau, the company's value increased dramatically through its years operating under Chapter 11. Following various restructurings that included negotiations with Carl Icahn who became a large bondholder, Mr. Amon engineered the sale of New Valley in a bankruptcy auction to First Financial Management Corporation in 1994 for $1.2 billion where he became vice chairman, and a year later merged with First Data Corporation in a $6 billion transaction. On January 26, 2006, First Data Corporation announced plans to spin Western Union off as an independent, publicly traded company. Western Union's focus will remain money transfers. The next day, Western Union announced that it would cease offering telegram transmission and delivery, the product most associated with the company throughout its history. This was, however, not the original Western Union Telegram service, but a new service of first data under the Western Union banner. The original Telegram service was sold off after New Valley Corporation's bankruptcy and now operates as iTelegram. The spin off was completed September 29, 2006, and Western Union became an independent, publicly traded company again. Topic. Involvement in early computer networking Western Union telegrams were transmitted through a store and forward message switching system. Early versions were manual telegraph systems. Later systems using teleprinters were semi-automatic, using punched paper tape to receive, store, and retransmit messages. Plan 55A, Western Union's last paper tape-based switching system 1948-1976, was fully automatic, with automatic routing. Western Union was a prime contractor in the Automatic Digital Network AUTODIN program. AUTODIN, a military application for communication, was first developed in the 1960s and became the precursor to the modern Internet in the 1990s. The Defense Message System DMS, replaced AUTODIN in 2000. AUTODIN, originally named Comlognet was a highly reliable service that operated at 99.99% availability, using mechanical punched card readers and tab machines to send and receive data over leased lines. During the peak operation of AUTODIN, the United States portion of the network handled 20 million messages a month. Western Union failed in its attempts to engineer a replacement AUTODIN2, leading to the development of an acceptable packet-switched network by BBN, the developer of the ARPANET, which became the foundation of today's Internet. AUTODIN service ceased in 2000, years after it had become obsolete. A related innovation that came from AUTODIN was Western Union's computer-based EasyLink service. This system allowed for one of the first marketable email systems for non-government users. In addition, the system allowed the same message to be sent simultaneously to multiple recipients via email, fax, mailgram, or telex services as well as allowing messages to be sent from the integrated formats. With the service, users could also perform research utilizing its Infolink application. EasyLink Services International Corporation is now a separate company. Topic. End of telegrams 
As of February 2006, the Western Union website showed this notice. Effective 27 January 2006, Western Union will discontinue all telegram and commercial messaging services. We regret any inconvenience this may cause you, and we thank you for your loyal patronage. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact a customer service representative. This ended the era of telegrams which began in 1851 with the founding of the New York and Mississippi Valley Printing Telegraph Company, and which spanned 155 years of continuous service. Western Union reported that telegrams sent had fallen to a total of 20,000 a year, because of competition from other communication services such as email. Employees were informed of the decision in mid-January. Telegram service in the United States continues to be available through iTelegram. Topic. Acquisitions In May 2009, Western Union announced its intention to acquire Canada-based Custom House from Peter Gustafson. The deal closed in September 2009, with Western Union purchasing Custom House for $371 million. Its acquisition led the company to be rebranded as Western Union Business Solutions. Custom House and its subsidiary Z.com were sold to Eurone Worldwide in 2015 and operate under its HIFX brand. In January 2011, Western Union acquired 100% of Angelo Costa, a group active in money transfer and services to immigrants. Angelo Costa has a network of 7,500 points of sale in various European countries. The agreement was signed for $200 million. In July 2011, Western Union acquired Travelex's Global Business Payments Division for £606 million. In October 2011, Western Union completed the acquisition of Finant SRL, one of Western Union's leading money transfer network agents in Europe, counting more than 10,000 subagent locations across Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom. In May 2015, rumors emerged over a proposed merger of Western Union and its closest competitor MoneyGram, at a time when both companies' revenue were declining. However, Western Union denied this was the case. In January 2017, MoneyGram was instead acquired unsuccessfully by Ant Financial, Alibaba's financial technology firm, for $880 million. Topic. Specific services <laughs> Topic. Online Western Union's website, westernunion.com, allows users to send and receive funds to others, pay bills, locate Western Union locations, track transfers, and to purchase Western Union NetSpend gift cards. The website also attempts to spread fraud awareness using videos, articles, and quizzes to do so. As of September 2017, the domain westernunion.com ranks globally as the 4,319th most visited website, according to Alexa Internet. Topic. Bid pay. As the Internet became an arena for commerce at the turn of the millennium, Western Union started its online services. BidPay was renamed Western Union Auction Payments. In 2004 before being renamed back to BidPay, BidPay ceased operations on December 31, 2005, and was purchased for $1.8 million in March 2006 by Cybersource Corp., who announced their intention to re-launch BidPay. BidPay was later discontinued by Cybersource effective December 31, 2007. Topic. Western Union Mobile 
In October 2007, Western Union announced plans to introduce a mobile money transfer service with the GSM Association, a global trade association representing more than 700 mobile operators in 218 countries and covering 2.5 billion mobile subscribers. The proliferation of mobile phones in developed and developing economies provides a widely accessible consumer device capable of delivering mobile financial services ranging from text notifications associated with Western Union cash delivery services to phone-based remittance options. Western Union's mobile money transfer service offering will connect its core money transfer platform to M-Bank or M-Wallet platforms provided by mobile operators and or locally regulated financial institutions. <laughs> Western Union Connect The company launched the Western Union Connect service in October 2015, following partnership agreements with major instant messaging apps WeChat and Viber. The partnership allows users of WeChat to send up to $100 to China, the U.S. and 200 other countries, while Viber users can send up to $100 for $3.99 plus exchange rate fees, with that fixed fee increasing the more money is sent up a limit of $499. Topic. Sending and receiving funds. In order to send funds, a sender goes to a Western Union office and presents funds plus fees for next day or money in minutes service. The sender provides his or her name and address, the recipient's name, and a designated payment destination. Western Union then provides the sender a 10-digit money transfer control number MTCN that the sender must provide to the recipient. The recipient then proceeds to a Western Union agent office in the designated payment location, presents the 10-digit MTCN, and a photo ID. Money is then paid out to the recipient. In some locations, if a recipient lacks identification documents, the sender and receiver can set up a pre-arranged password. Funds are paid out in cash, although if payment exceeds a local maximum or cash on hand, a check is issued. Alternatively, a sender may forward funds to a recipient by using Western Union's website or by phone. In some countries, the recipient doesn't need the MTCN number if one has sufficient identification. Topic: Transfer fees. Fees vary based on the sender and receiver's location, type of transfer, and whether the money is sent from a counter location or by the website. Topic past services Along with satellite telecommunications, Western Union was also active in other forms of telecommunication services, common carrier terrestrial microwave networks business communications networks such as Telex and TWX, which was acquired from AT&T Corporation and renamed Telex 2 by Western Union Landline-based leased voice and data communication circuits long-distance telephone service airphone air ground radio telephone service service from 1981 to 1986 cellular phone service for a very short time in the early 1980s the phones were made by two-way radio manufacturer EF Johnson Company most of these services were discontinued by Western Union in the late 1980s due to a lack of profitability with the company's divisions providing said services being divested and sold to other companies such as the 1988 sale of WU satellite fleet and and services to Hughes Space and Communications, and the sale of WU's airphone service to GTE in 1986. <laughs> Sponsorship Western Union was a major shirt sponsor of the Sydney Roosters NRL team from 2002-2003. The company still sponsors the team, but not as a shirt sponsor. 
Around the world, Western Union sponsors numerous community events that help support the diaspora communities that use the Global Money Transfer Service. They also sponsored numerous WWE and WCW pay-per-view events such as the No Way Out 1998 and Slambury 2000. They sponsored UEFA Europa League from 2012 until 2015. The First Data Western Union Foundation donates money to charitable causes around the world. After the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, the foundation donated $1 million to the relief effort. The Denver Nuggets of the National Basketball Association announced that Western Union will be their jersey sponsor for the 2017 18 NBA season. Liverpool FC announced on August, 9, 2017 that Western Union would become their first ever sleeve sponsors, from the start of the 2017-18 season. They signed a £25 million deal for five years as Liverpool's sleeve sponsor. Topic. Scam industry and money laundering Western Union advises its customers not to send money to someone that they have never met in person. Despite its efforts in increasing customers' awareness of the issue, Western Union is used for internet fraud by scammers. Western Union has been required to maintain records of payout locations of the individuals who may be laundering the money, though this information may be obtained only through the use of a subpoena. Hence advance fee fraud and romance scammers continue to receive funds via Western Union confident in the knowledge that money lost to overseas scammers is almost always unrecoverable. For this reason, it is banned as a medium of payment through eBay, and discouraged on other online auction websites. Western Union admitted to allowing wire fraud in January 2017 and agreed to pay $586 million, for turning a blind eye as criminals used its service for advance fee fraud. Scammers engaging in various 419 advance fee scams including offering fake job offers and lottery prizes, were able to process transactions using Western Union money transfer, mainly by giving the agents a share of the earnings from their scams. Western Union failed to investigate hundreds of thousands of complaints victims filed. Topic. Money laundering and terrorist financing The Central Bank of Ireland reprimanded and fined Western Union €1.75 million Euros in May 2015 because of failures in anti-money laundering practices which could have left the firm's payment services open to being used for money laundering and or terrorist financing saying that they were concerned that Western Union failed to have in place sufficiently robust systems and procedures to train agents, to monitor and identify suspicious activity in respect of smaller transactions, and to maintain appropriate records, and the splitting of payments into many separate smaller payments is a common method used to launder money. Similarly, terrorist financing is often carried out by small payment transfers. Western Union agents also allowed Chinese immigrants to use the service to send hundreds of millions of dollars, by sending the amounts in smaller increments to avoid transfer reporting requirements, to pay human smugglers. Topic. Connection to military intelligence There were allegations in the book. The 1% Doctrine, Deep Inside America's Pursuit of Its Enemies Since 9-11. That Western Union provided United States military intelligence with personal information. Topic. Blocked transactions Western Union has begun blocking transactions based on suspicion of terrorist connections, as a part of the company's involvement with the War on Terror. Currently, transfers sent from the Western Union website, require telephone confirmation of the sender's identity. 
On occasion, the transfer will fail and customer service inform the sender that the transaction does not meet our requirements. If details are requested, no information will be given other than the fact that their disclosure is forbidden. Numerous customers have reported this problem. Topic: Anti-competitive behavior. Western Union has been accused of engaging in anti-competitive behavior in Africa as a result of a lack of competition on the continent. According to a report by the Overseas Development Institute, this allows Western Union to artificially inflate its fees for money transfers, charging what has been called an Africa charge of 8% consistently applied across countries regardless of the size of the market, regulatory costs or market risk. However, the fees can be as high as 10% or more, depending on the region. Africa's remittance market remains the most expensive in the world, and the region is estimated to incur excess costs of $1.4 billion to $2.3 billion per year as a result of these high remittance fees. The company has also been criticized for its use of exclusivity agreements with banks in countries that receive remittances, restricting competition and harming the consumer, by requiring the consumer to conduct transactions via nominated banks. This also allows for the imposition of above average transaction fees. In February 2016, Western Union was questioned by the EU antitrust regulator over its network of agents in order to establish whether the company colluded with banks to push out smaller rivals from the money transfer market. Topic: See also 60 Hudson Street, former headquarters 92 Code Pangram, used by Wu to test teleprinters Pennsylvania v. New York — question before the U.S. Supreme Court, when Western Union money orders are supposed to us cheat to the state if not fully redeemed, what state is to get the money? Western Union, 1939 schooner chartered by Western Union Telegraph Company, used in film as slave ship La Amistad Western Union Splice Western Union Telegraph Building, former headquarters Topic. Alternative providers Current Fair MoneyGram OFX Company RIA Financial Services Zoom Corporation <laughs>